How RFID and RFID tags plays a vital role and simplified our life, friends. Examples: You can see it access control, purchasing the things, traveling in a metro, playing in a mall. Everywhere we try to see the RFID tags, friends. And in this video, we are very excited how to read the RFID tags. We try to decode and play around the RFID tags, friends. and apart from that one we try to see some of the cool experiments we can do with rfid tags friends so for this project we need as an rfid rc522 friends so i have connected the female to a male connection you can see it over here friends so i am keeping over here friends and i have taken up a couple of an rfid tags you can see it over here friends so these are the couple of an rf ID tags which are available, and I am keeping over here, friends. And I am taking the Arduino Uno R3. You can see it over here, friends. And I am keeping over here, friends. And I am taking as a 16 cross 2 LCD with as an I to C adapter I have placed, and I have taken as a female to a male connection with four wires, friends. So you can see it over here, friends. And I have taken as an RGB LED with as a board. You can see it out, friends. And in this one, I am using the red and green LED friend. And in order to do the connection, I am taking a jumper wires. You can see it over here, friend. In order to do the connections, I am taking the breadboard. You can see it over here, friend. And to get the power and flash the code, I am taking the USB A to B cable, friend. So you can see it over here, friend. These are the required resources for this project, friend. Now we can see the connections, friend. So on to the screen, you can see you know on the on to my left hand side, you can see three point three five volts on ground, A four and A five. On to my right hand side, pin number three four nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. So these are the pins we are going to use from the you know on the pin. Now the pin number three, we are connecting the red LED pin, and pin number four, we are connecting the green LED. With the resistors, both of them, it is going to ground pin. Like this, 
And next one with the clamp that is going on to the 13. That's why I'm keeping over here. And the last but not least that is chip static that is going on to the 10th frame. So you can see there is a continuous connection from 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 frames. So this is the a connection up in an RFID. So uh -huh. I kept it like this frame. So this is the RFID connection. Now I am taking a 16 cross to LCD. So I am keeping over here. This is the core connection. So first one with the ground. So I am giving onto the ground frame. So this is the ground. The second one with the 5 volts. The second one with the 5 volts. That is nothing but as an handovering into the 5. I can see it. And the yellow one will be going on to the A4. That is SDA. The last one will be the SCL. The handover. So this is the SCB connection frame. Now I am taking as a RGB LED, so I am keeping over here towards you. You can see it over here. The first one will be the red, so I am taking on to the one wire. I am taking the wire from here and I am giving on to the fourth, uh, third one. And the next one will be the red, green. The second one will be the green, so I am taking from the green and handovering into the uh, fourth, fourth one frame. So now you can see it. the ground is going under the ground. You can, here you can see on this side there is one more ground is there. And if this is the ground. You can see after the 13 you can find one more ground. So this is the a typical connection. So you can see it. I have connected LCD, LED board that is the RGB and RFID. So this is the connection for it. Before jumping onto the course, so let us have some few things, friends. This MFRC, that is nothing but the uh, RFID RC522, is from the NXP, friends. So RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. So it will try to emit electromagnetic waves for the transferring and the saving the data over the short distance, friends. The short distance can be one centimeter, two centimeters, three. 4, 5. 5 centimeters is the maximum frames. In RFID, there is a two major components. That is a reader. Another one is a tank frames. The tank, those who doesn't have the supply, that are all called passive tank frames. We can call it as access card, key cards, all are tank frames. The reader will, when the tag is coming closer, the reader will send the Red, red electromagnetic waves such a way that the tag get power and send the data towards the reader friends and this rc522 is operating with us in 3.3 with a frequency of a 13.56 friends and the main properties about the rc522 it's a low power low cost very rugged and easy to use friends and each tag will have a unique identification number friends that is nothing but the uid friends and along with the UID, it is also having the memory. The memory is divided into the sectors and each sector will be divided into the block. A block will be containing as an in a byte strength. In our case, the 16th sector, four blocks, each block is containing the 16 byte friends. In the sector zero, block zero, we'll having the UID information friends. So in our case, the 16 sectors will be there. In each sector, the block number four, we only having the read only things friends. So in that case, we can write the sectors block zero to two friends, block zero, block one, block two friends. Three is read only. And especially the sector zero and the block zero and the four will be having the UID information friends. So that we should not touch. Each one will be having the UID friends. When you try to read over this one, we try to get the UID friends. Now, for this one, we need to install, if you go to the file, and if you can go, go to the sketch and include library, and if you can see it over here, this will be MFRC522. This is the library I have installed friends, that is called as in from the GitHub community friends, like this. I have installed the I2C 16 cross 2 LCD I2C print that is nothing but the liquid crystal I2C so these two are the major libraries we need to install it friends now let us jump into the code friends so now if we see it over here in this one we are giving the connection so you can check it once again and here we are including the SPS the communication between the RF ID reader to you know it is called SPI friends and 
the mf rc 522 it is rf id related things it has been there and liquid crystal underscore i to see that is nothing but the lcd the lcd instance we are giving address is nothing but 0 cross 27 16 characters and two lines and the reset pin whatever we have given we are mentioning here chip select we are mentioning as here and these two we need to mention with us in this class instance friends the chip select and reset and red and green we are indicating and allowing to tag which you want to give the access you can tell them if you have multiple tags you can see allow tag number one tag number two tag number three like this you can mention it here friends now let us jump into the setup function we are initializing the uart begin and lcd initialization and rfid initialization these are the things we are doing and we are making as a direction as an output and now when you come back to the loop we are seeing the now let us see the loop function first of all it will try to get the id now let us move to the get id function so if you scroll down you can see it so is there any new tag is present and it is reading the details and the four digits that is unique id we are converting into the uppercase and we are storing in a string format and we are returning as a true in other case it doesn't find we are returning as a false and if you get the um, tag id so if that tag id is matched with whatever we have mentioned is allow tag and if you have multiple you can give it as r and you can extend this function on lcd we are giving access granted and welcome back and we are indicating the green led if that is not the case access denied and we are giving the radio lead. And in the serial port, we are printing the tag ID. So you will try to get the new tag ID here. And the tag ID, you can copy paste it if you want to give the access and give it as allow tag number one, two, three. And you try to extend this function by making as R function. And we are giving as a delay of two seconds. And after that one, both the LEDs we are making as a low and we are clearing. And again, we are giving in the prompt on the LCD giving as access scan RFID. So hope this is the code. Now let us go sketch, verify and compile. And now let us go to these things and upload it friends. Now it is successfully uploaded. Now once again you can see it is compiled and successfully uploaded. Uploaded error it is coming. Now okay. Fail uploading, no upload from. Now here you can go select the UNO R3 and give the flash. So this is the thing. Here we can see the demo friends. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more interesting updates, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. That will help us to grow the channel, friends. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video, friends.